Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required. Gotta make sure I uh, definitely enunciate the required now, because, uh, you know, I've, I keep saying acquire by accident. So we've, so last time, you know, we've been going on, been, been going on our mission to... Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Last time we acquired a a pickle pot pie, or like we ate some, and we got our breath all nice and stinky, so we can breathe in the, the breath analyzer. We have uh, learned that we need to um, we need to disguise ourselves as a chef in order to access the oven in that other in in that kitchen at the uh, La Roche Here's building. Where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Yeah, that's a that's a hen. Since we got we got our breath nice and pickly. That didn't work. The Achilles heel door is locked, and I've got to crack the code to get inside. Gonna click the right place. What do you know about that? Pickle pot pie did the trick. Now it's it's, it's, it's clever because like, because of the screen's red, you can't actually see what breath was detected unless you had those those goggles, those glasses. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Is that, a, is that counting down? I have waited in line for over 12 hours to ride the ride, famous for its pastries of the past. A cream field adventure. It was the highlight of the fair. Oh no. The attendant refused to let me on because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. Magic burst of, of a villain. I feel like that looked like it was counting up, and I'm pretty sure, like, didn't he say, like... Aren't, like, aren't we, like, waiting for, like, well, like the millionth? Or, well, maybe we're just a thousandth visitor or something, I'm not sure. Like, it seems like we got quite a ways to go. So we can either... Not entirely sure which of these we should... Closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. Ah. I wonder what would happen if. A picture of La Roche. Hmm. Have a nice day. So it seems that only La Roche can get through here. I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of LaRoche's fingerprint. So we'll definitely need that, um, f fork and spoon. <laughs> kind of funny because you know, I doubt that LaRoche has uh, such big hands. LaRoche must get his fly traps from this place. It's, a, it's, like a, it's an operation. Whoa. Oh, man. Those mutant Venus flytraps sure have a taste for flies. I guess that's why they're called flytraps. Left or right? 
Oh. I thought I heard someone say, walk into the light. I have to find a way to shield my eyes. So, that stuntman's, uh, sunglasses, like dark glasses would have come in handy. I don't want that welder to see me. I don't want that welder to I see me. I don't want that welder to see me. I don't think that he'd understand. I'm not going to let him know that I'm here. So you want to hide from the welder. I'm not going to let him oh, know wait. that I'm here. Oh wait, those those gl those glasses, those those um, we can probably use those, those goggles. I wonder if I can get that welder to stay at the conveyor belt longer so I can get those goggles. Is there anything? Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. I don't think we have any gadgets that would help. Maybe I should contact Monkey Penny on the spy watch and see if she has any ideas how to stop this evil LaRoach. I don't think she's... I don't think that's really related to the stand by. task at hand. We'll just see what happens. Going, spy Fox? I'm at a dead end. Maybe you need to talk to some more folks around the fair. Gather some more information. Thanks, Monkey Penny. Not quite at a, at a dead end. I don't um, want that welder to see me. Fast and slow. is watching so I'd better wait. I can't go over there while the guard is watching. Hmm, that makes the conveyor belt go faster. Going down here now. Oh, yeah, he's, he's panicking on me. I'm so I'm sorry man. And because you know, you know, you know, I I know the pain of you know having to be being forced to go fast. That anymore. Oh what? I wanted to I wanted to put put it back to to slow to you know you know this fella he's just he just applied for a nice factory job to feed his family. You know he didn't really he doesn't deserve to. Be played with like that. Let's um head down here. Hello, mister. We've got what you want. I believe these are yours, Kate Cod. My lucky goggles! I can't believe my his, eyes. You know, his depressing five o'clock shadow just magic and magically disappeared. Ugh, everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. <laughs> Give it to him. Oh, what? Was that little? Was that little bit of ray at the top of the top right of the screen? Was that always there? Excuse me, Mr. Cod. Don't bother me now. I'm thinking. Like I thought, like he like, opened it's a hole in the, the amazing roof or something. Oh, we got. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. I, I forgot. Actually, we. So we gave it. We gave him the the goggles, but we didn't actually get the dark ones. 
Can I borrow your dark goggles, Cape Cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. That'll help with, you know, getting through that bright room. Let's also head over here to see what... What this route... Let's, yeah, there's like that chef uniform. Do you ever think about how many candles you could make if you melted the wax figures? Don't even joke about that! This is my profession you're talking about! So your whole job is to watch this thermometer. Yes, and while I'm here, no one can get in until the exhibit is officially open. Say if the thermometer goes above 80 degrees, I have to run and call the air conditioning repair place. I'd be gone for hours, and anybody and their mother could get in. Hmm, maybe I should call my mother. <laughs> Here's where I keep... Supply some... <laughs> Supply some... Heat Just right in front of him. This spy heat the join up with a demo of his spy heat. And for all he thinks, we might be just uh, I don't know, applying cologne to ourselves. Excuse oh, me, man. but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh no! I must call the air conditioning repair place. Do the wax oh, figures don't melt? I'll be on hold for hours. That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. Thomas Elephant, inventor of the mesh umbrella, light bulbs painted black, and shoes made out of bubble gum. Gum shoes. After playing in them all day, you could have a stinky snack. Wonder what would happen. It what would actually happen if you painted a light bulb black? Like, surely it would have to have like some. I doubt like it could. Like, I doubt it would. Uh, cause energy has to go somewhere, right? Like, like, it, like some something would get through. Thomas I feel like. Elephant, inventor of the me ah Saint Joan of Fark. She made sure that every child in the world had access to ice cream. She uh -huh. became the patron saint of cold cow. A fine woman. Ah Saint Joan of cold cows. Isn't that the other? The ice, the ice skating trick we did? George Washington Cougar, an inventor. Double cold cow or, like, or something. Double sour cow is what we did. Uses for gelatin. Gelatin sneakers, gelatin tires, and gelatin bricks. They don't last, but the inventions look cute when they wiggle. I could see someone doing that in real life. Like, you know, had, um,. George Washington Carter, Carter, I think it was uh, George Washington Carver, um, who uh, discovered a bunch of uses for peanuts. Bert Barracuda, a successful songwriter who wrote such pop standards as "Do You Know the Way to Swim Upstream?" and my personal favorite, "What's It All About Algae?" <laughs> what? Bella a bug. Who worked hard for roaches' rights. She worked hard for better housing for roaches who wanted to escape those deadly hotels. <laughs> Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might come in handy. Do, 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 do. It's pretty funny they actually gave him underwear. I actually never really thought of that. I wonder. Gang duck and Do wax figures actually? Are they actually completely clothed? Like, do they actually have underwear under their clothes? Asking the real questions. Let's uh, head up back to the mobile command center. Let's get that fingerprint nabber. That's 
the fingerprint replicator utensil kit. We're good. Go right in, Maurice. You know, this, uh, that voice, honestly, like, I think like, that same voice actor voices uh, quite a few characters. Oh, me. Oh, oh, what? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh. Excuse me, what's the matter? I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rise. Ah, that's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit roasted boot bernays. Don't tell me. The sauce isn't... Oh, yes, it is. Ugh. I think I'm going to be sick. Now, where are all those forks? What? <laughs> What's the sauce? La Roche it's nasty. Spit roasted boot bernays, eh? Personally, I prefer something edible. Ooh, this I was gonna say, like, that voice actor... Find a fork to I'm pretty sure voice is, like, n numerous characters, but... Like, that voice is honestly very, very nostalgic. Here's a, a, a fork, ma'am. Here you are. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? I've been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank you. I'm gonna get this spit roasted new bernays out to Napoleon the Roach before he starts acting like a heel. It's only a matter of time now before I have La Roche's prints. <laughs> Spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. This boot was made for eating. And that's just what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot <laughs> is going to be inside of you. Wow. Like the, the references go deep, like the pop culture references go deep. Now I'm almost ready to give La Roche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. A little tough, but still good. This nice salted boot. Reminds me of, um... I think the YouTube channel, uh, Children of Poseidon did a video, like, where, uh... I think they tried to, like, eat a hat, like, like as, like, a, like a punishment for, like, you know, not... Like, like, like failing a bet or challenge or something. Like uh, one of the fellows like tried to eat a hat like and actually like you know boiled it and salted it and whatnot. Here's where I keep my so now let's don our chef uniform. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Like the sh <laughs> the chef we are. Someone's in the kitchen with Dino. Ahem. Oh, excuse me, I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dog. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dino, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder. You are too kind, too kind. Stir, stir, stir. Also, I, I kind of got the impression that uh, you know, all the people, stir, stir, all the, the wax figures there were like of dead people. I guess this uh, Wolfgang fellow is a contemporary chef. I have to admit that at first I chef. thought Professor Quack's idea for a spy camera was half baked, but it turns out to be pretty hot stuff. Nice. So we got the key. I believe this is the key to. I'll leave my chef outfit here just in case I need it later. This is the key to what? Wool -wor Woolly World or something? No. <laughs> Something, something, W World. I think uh, Wooly World is. Uh, is that like a Kirby game? 
And now that we've used... Oh, wait. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. So we still have... That's my spy key replicator camera. We still have the camera. Let's just hold on to it for now. I've got the key. Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well, if you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. See, I told you I had a key. I was waiting on deep inside. I've got a key. This opening is too small to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through. Sounds like it'll take something much smaller than himself to get through. There you go, Walter. The game really does Johnny reward you for like figuring out what to do. Like that, that little jingle is always so nice. Johnny Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Fox. I actually completely forgot this part. We're actually playing as Walter Wilders now. Copy. <laughs> what? This car is my ticket to the dream house. This is the only way to travel. I, I like the aesthetic here. Shocking waste of valuable attic space. Oh, okay, so we gotta... I've been told that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Oh, you silly man. Well, now, things are starting to look up. Gotta, like, arrange everything so we can get through. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. This button opened that door. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Dottie Dash's location. Is it a subtitle said microfish? He said Dottie Dash. I can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? Close the bottom drawer with this button. This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Typically, I would open and close the drawer by hand. But today I'm feeling uh, so much lazy. And the $74 million question is, who invented the retractable TV? Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Eureka. Walter, I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on the fritz before I could get the whole message to you in Spy Corps, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? <laughs> smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. Oh, right. Our evil nemesis. So what was the rest of the message? I need to transmit it to Spy Fox right away. Of course. The activation code is pineapple, grape, orange. Got it. Walter Wireless calling Spy Fox. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the spy watch. Stay tuned. Pineapple, grape, orange. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. 
The rest is up to you now. Good luck, Spy Fox. This is Walter Wireless, signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. These gears, in turn, rotate a giant underground French that passes below the fair to the base of my cleverly disguised giant robot dog. Very cleverly disguised. From there, another series of gears turn, spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable, evil dog bot. When the one million tourists come through the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then, I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting world and conquer it in the name of Smelly. <laughs> Holy Roach, that is a good one. Smelly smell, that smells smelly. So pineapple, grape, orange. Evil dog bot. Pineapple, grape, orange. So that's the off, that's the off code. I'm not sure if that's the actual code for the lock on the Venus flytrap room. We're not, we'll have to test that out. Because the Venus flytrap symbols were more like star and whatnot. I think I'm going to call the video there, folks, because we've uh, made a bit of progress. Next time, we'll continue on. Uh, I don't think this game's too long, so I imagine like maybe like, one or two videos might we might finish it. But uh, till next time, hope you guys enjoyed, and Liquid out.